morning guys welcome to another vlog long time no see i haven't vlogged in a little while since taylor swift i don't think um but today i thought i would vlog so i've got lots going on both on a kind of like family day-to-day -day, everyday life kind of style but then also a bit of work as well we're in the car in case you hadn't noticed this one is driving well i mean every time i'm vlogging you, you literally <laughs> react to everything on a vlog it sounds like i'm such a bad driver like it's because when i'm filming and if you break you're like mm, you don't, you don't, have, have i ever crashed with you in a car <laughs> dangerous driving happening right here um can so, i say you haven't actually said the most important thing that's happening today what? i mean big news what we're going to the dentist <laughs> thanks mike huge news thanks for that we're we going together Yes. Oh, you've got an appointment. So, well. yeah, I book you in with me. Yeah, because I'm really bad at booking the dentist, so Mike books in my dentist appointments. Sure. It's usually sure. the other way around in couples, it's, isn't it? I mean, really, it's because my teeth are so bad that I remember. <laughs> Yours are great, so you don't have to remember quite so hard. Um. Anyway, that's that's nice. Mike's got this. Uh, <laughs> really bad teeth. He doesn't have bad teeth. Anyway, so today you guys always say you like to see our like kind of at home vlog so that is what we're doing we're on our way to the gym this morning little bugs is in the back and so are you are you ready for some hardcore training i'm not i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling like energized today i feel like it's <laughs> a squeak coming from the back she's got like a sophie the giraffe toy which is genuinely like a dog toy it's driving the dogs bananas um but yeah i'm not feeling energetic i feel like you need to you know you've got to got to Got that energy. Feed off my working spirit right now. Okay, sure, pal. Let's just cut you out, Mister. I'm training for a marathon. So, yeah, that is today. Also, this vlog is going to be sponsored by HelloFresh, which I am just a little bit excited about. I've wanted to try HelloFresh for years. This one is was previously before we had a baby. He was like, no, I like shopping. I like I do taking, enjoy shopping. He does. He's like, I like taking the time to go and pick my things. Blah blah blah. And I always wanted to try it because I feel like we eat the same things over and over and over again. And then since we've had a little one, we literally have zero time. I don't even know why because I'm not working as much as I used to, so I should have more time. But she takes up so much time. Um, so we've been trying HelloFresh this month and I am genuinely the biggest convert because it just makes life so easy. If you don't know what HelloFresh is already, it's a meal kit delivery service. So they don't just deliver you a meal, they deliver you like all the ingredients in exact proportions, along with a card that tells you exactly how to make it. And the instructions are amazing, like genuinely, in terms of the presentation as well. The stuff we've been cooking looks amazing and tastes amazing, and it's also different to what I would normally cook, which is what I really like about it. I've been really good at like introducing new things. Um, into our kind of diet, <laughs> our diet or our routine. Um, and it's also super, super delicious and very easy. And it's all just, it just makes life easy. I'm gonna tell you more about that later anyway when we're cooking dinner, but um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to be working with them because it's a, it's a company that I genuinely am excited for and will 100,000% continue using because it just, it just fits into our lifestyle so well. Anyway, let's go work out. Also eating my breakfast on the go this morning, and I'm aware this looks like a baby food pouch. I'm not eating River's food. This is um, the same, I actually give her the yogurt from the same company, the Kid one. This is the Collective. Um, it's the protein yogurt, the berry flavor one. I actually prefer the coconut, but it's basically like um, high protein yogurt in a pouch. It's so easy just to like throw in your bag if you're on the go, and it tastes real good. I also just realized, Mike, maybe a coffee for on the go. Ha, huh, husband extraordinaire. What was I doing all that time before we got out the door? Yeah, Making you a coffee. Oh my God, it is the most beautiful day. We've just dropped off mum's dog because we had my mum's dog for two nights um, whilst she was up in Lincolnshire visiting my sister. And there's Sophie again. Mike's just strapping Bugsy in. And we ended up being here for longer than we anticipated because my brother was here and we just got chatting and stuff now we're on our way home hopefully get ready to film and film i've got two videos filmed today um before we go to the dentist you're right there can you guys hear this song ah, the sounds of baby life quick pit stop to buy dog food otherwise we would have some very unhappy hounds this evening i also missed a delivery yesterday so i'm going to pick it up Wonder if it's anything exciting. 
Probably not, it's probably like nappies or something. So it looks like they've got a new campaign going on called Colour For All, hashtag Mac Love Slips. Um, I think it's just a curation of some of their most famous colours because um, apparently they're the number one lip colour brand in the UK. That doesn't surprise me. Um, but they've sent me Lady Danger, which is gorgeous. Whirl, which is gorgeous. Velvet Teddy, which is also really nice. Sin, which is probably not for me. I think that's black. And then um, Mare, which I've never seen or heard of before. Has anyone tried this colour? It looks from the outside like it might be really nice. Let's have a look. That is such a gorgeous colour. And it's matte as well. Can't wait to try that. It looks really nice. Actually, I was wrong about Sin. This isn't black. I've actually worn this colour before and it's really nice. It's like a gorgeous, deep, deep kind of purpley brown colour. It just had the black sticker on there, so I thought it was like a black lipstick, but it is such a good colour. I wore this, I actually had my makeup done once when I was in New York um, for Fashion Week, and they did it in this colour. Well, they did it, no, they didn't do my whole makeup in this colour, they did my lips in this colour, and it is so nice. Okay, so we're home, and I'm just about to get ready to film. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm not sure, I think, feel like you might know from our Instagram stories, but if you don't know, um, we're actually, sleeping and based out of the spare room at the moment. It's such a mess in here because we literally woke up this morning and just went straight out. Um, but we're redoing our bedroom and I think we're going to be in here for like, we've been in here for nearly two months already. I think we're going to be in here for another probably two months because we're like redoing all the electrics. Like the windows are getting totally renovated because the house is really old. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit crazy. It's a mess in here, and I've been filming in here as well. So um, I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna make the beds, and I'm gonna try and get this filming done before we have to go to the dentist. I've got about an hour and a half, so <laughs> let's see how far we get. I also have a stack of shoe boxes. I'm doing a shoe haul. So excited to crack into these, and my new bikini, which I'm obsessed with. These are all going, this is like my pile, ready for hauling. And to show you the current state of our bedroom, <laughs> all of our furniture is in the middle of the room, and the windows, so the guys doing the windows are here at the moment, and um, there are literally no windows. It's crazy though, because obviously we have like the kind of windows that you push up, like sash windows, so you can never open a window like all the way here, and it's actually amazing not having them in there, because it, it's just, you get so much air in the room. Um, but yeah, so current situation, no windows. I've also been doing a mood board of um, what we're going to put in the bedroom and I ordered the bed, which I've been searching for a new bed for like six months. We knew we were going to be doing it and we're planning, planning, planning. Um, and I just haven't seen anything I liked and I just ordered something. But I'll show you, a bit later I'll show you like the mood board of like our kind of vibe for in that room. I know you guys like to see um, kind of like our home renovation stuff. So I will show you that. And now I'm finally gonna jump in the shower and stop waffling, I promise. So I just came downstairs to give little one her lunch and Mike had already given it to her. Good daddy skills right there. And I've just got a delivery from Amazon. This is what I thought the package was before, but then I don't know why I thought it would be at the post office because Amazon man is always different to the Royal Mail man. I'm trying to knife it open with one hand. Hang on, this is not a good idea. This is what I meant by a very glamorous delivery. Check this out. Bumper pack of baby wipes. Swimming nappies, because I've just signed her up for a swimming class. And then I think in the other one, we should have like um, the outer swimming nappy because you wear these on the inside and then the like neoprene one on the outside. My lunch today guys, I've got some leftover grilled aubergine from Sunday and some salsa verde. I'm gonna heat this up, put the salsa on it. Maybe some cheese? I don't know what else I've got in the fridge, not much. Maybe some, actually I've got some really nice tomatoes, I might put some tomatoes on it too. My leftover creation from the fridge. Whilst I'm having lunch, I wanted to show you my mood board for the bedroom that I was just talking about. So this is my kind of, it's like an inspiration board plus actual items that um, I want to actually purchase. So this is the bed that I have ordered. It's from um, Soho Home, which is the kind of interiors collection that Soho House have, which I actually didn't know about until um, I found this. I'm really excited because we've been looking for a bed for so long. So that is on its way. Very excited about that. And then this is the rest of my kind of mood board. So I'm thinking for the walls, um, I'm thinking this kind of colour, this actually is probably showing up kind of a weird colour on the screen, but it's basically like kind of a sage green, but maybe a little bit more, a little bit lighter and slightly more blue in tone. So this kind of 
this is the kind of vibe that I want to go for anyway with the dark wood and the kind of greeny tone like a little bit kind of vintagey looking I think we're hopefully going to have a brass radiator which I'm really excited about um, I also want to order these armchairs to a pair of these armchairs by the windows so I think they'll look really nice there from Graham and Green um, so I think I'm going to order them. They're like a nice kind of slate grey. With I actually don't know. They say they're grey, but they, to me they look blue. They look like they've got a like navy tint to them. Like a blue-grey kind of colour. Um, and then I'm undecided whether or not to put prints like these on either side of the bed with the bedside tables underneath and then a lamp. Or whether to do mirrors. I haven't quite decided that yet, but this is the kind of vibe. Um, I also really like this rug which is from Ocker, but it's really expensive. But I think it would look really nice with that kind of colour scheme. Mike's not so sure about the rug, but yeah, that's what we're going for with the room. So if you have any other suggestions of like shops to look at or like websites for this kind of like furniture or soft furnishings or anything, then please let me know because it's always really hard and takes ages to like find um, stuff that you actually want. This is the look that I'm talking about with having the mirror um, behind the bedside table as well. I just think this looks absolutely gorgeous, but I've never seen a distressed, like skinny full length mirror like that. If anyone knows how to get one, please let me know because I would love those. If not, I'm gonna do um, pictures, I think, but I think it looks gorgeous. If you're wondering where little one is, she's having a little snooze in her buggy in the corridor. Time to get ready to film whilst she's asleep. Make the most of it. So I managed to do my hair but not my makeup. So I'm gonna finish it off and film when we get home. We are now off to the dentist. I was so glad. I'm now back upstairs in the bedroom, minus Mike, because he has gone to the office he had this morning working from home. So I've got a little one here. She is on the floor playing with her toys. And hopefully we're gonna try and get some filming done. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break the weight, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that move. I'm finally ready to film. It's now half past four. Little one got a little bit frustrated and wanted some milk and some playtime, so I just fed her and played with her for a bit. Um, and now she is on the floor again. Hopefully gonna chill out whilst I film, we will see. Um, but this is the reality of having a little one and trying to film stuff, because you, I feel like I can get stuff done with her there, like a lot of the time I'll put her in her little high chair and give her toys and sit her like facing me but next to me and she'll happily like sit there and I can chat and do emails and stuff. But actually filming, obviously because they have to be quiet, she's there, she's rolled over and she's staring at me now like, you think you're so clever mum, I'm not gonna be quiet, you cheeky monkey. Um, yeah, you just, filming is like one of those things that you, you find really, what well, I find really hard with the baby, so, um, let's try this, let's do it. Can you tell I've been rushing about? I've also got two dogs in here. One of them is, I mean, Squidge, what are you doing? Are you biting your own tail? Giving it a clean? Thank you very much on my bed. And then the other one, Piglet Poo, is on the sofa, the very tidy set. You managed to find a spot though, Piglet, I'm impressed. This little dog is constantly in the sunshine. She lives for the sunshine. And then little one is down here next to me playing with this ball. Lily Pebbles brought her this ball. Lily, if you're watching, she loves this. She plays with it every day after bath time. We go into her room um, and she goes on her little sheepskin rug and she plays with it. If you're wondering why she's basically in her nappy, it's because it's so hot today. Um, but yeah, she loves this. She loves it. So I have finished filming. It's so hot in this room. It's unbelievable because this side of the house is like where the sun sets. So in the afternoon, the heat just, the sunlight hits this room and it's just, oh my God, I'm so hot. I've got a t-shirt on instead of my shirt. Um, and thank goodness Mike came back halfway through filming and has got Bugsy because I had the two dogs. I had little one and it was just chaos because everyone was scratching, squeaking, making all sorts of noises. Um, so now, I'm gonna go and take Bugs back, give her her tea and give her her bath because it's six o'clock, which is tea time and bath time. Um, yeah, today has just been one of those days. I'm also super, super hungry. This one is ahead of the game. He's defrosting the, what is it? Let me see. Carrot. He's defrosting the carrot already. Here's one I made earlier. It is baby bath time. So I finally got little one to sleep. She's had her dinner. She's actually, oh, she just moved when I started talking but she's actually asleep in her buggy there because 
it's been so hot recently. Um, as you guys will have seen when I was just upstairs, her room is next to our room and it is just so hot until the sun goes in. So we keep her downstairs um, until then and then we take her up. And she actually works pretty well, um, but she's asleep. Mike's gone off to running club because he's training for the Chicago Marathon at the moment, which we're going out to in October, which is exciting. Um, and I am just starting to do some editing for the videos that I film. So I've got my little setup going on. This is actually Mike's iPad that he had the news on earlier, but I've got my laptop and a pile of baby toys. Still hungry. So I just picked up my camera to film and I'm hoping this doesn't bother you, but there are church bells ringing. We've got the windows open out, so that's Mike, but the, behind Mike, behind the windows are open and the local church are having their bell ringing practice. I feel like we should go help. Because it's just wild when you live in the countryside. This one is back from his run, good run? Really yeah. good. Um, and I am going to cook this evening. Um, as I was telling you this morning, we have been using HelloFresh. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So I thought I'd show you what we're cooking tonight. So I keep all of the meal bags lined up in the fridge like this. We normally get three a week, but there are two because we've eaten one already. Um, each week we get delivery on a Sunday and you can basically pick the day. You can also pick the meal um, selections that you get. So you can have the family box or you can have the veggie box. We just have the classic one. Um, so we have two meals left. Each one comes in a bag like this. And when you open up the box every Sunday or whichever day you want to get this delivered, it comes with an insulated bag full of all the cold goods. I actually separate everything up as soon as we get them so that I have the bag just with every single thing you need for that meal in it. So it's so easy just to pick up and go. So tonight we're going to go for this one. I also keep the recipe cards underneath them so I know which one's which, but they're all color coded. Super, super easy. We're going to be cooking chicken and chorizo rice. So this is what is in the bag for tonight's meal. As you can see, everything comes individually portioned, so there's absolutely no food waste. And I just pop all of the extra packaging straight into the recycling. It's just so simple and easy. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write a story, wanna shape the new. So this is tonight's finished dinner. Mike's gonna love this because he loves rice. So yeah, I know this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, but genuinely it's so, so good. Like I am genuinely a massive fan of it. So I was really excited to work with them because yeah, it's really, really awesome. And we're gonna continue to use it on a weekly basis. And if you guys wanna try it out, they've actually given us a um, discount code. So you get 50% off your first and second box which is like two weeks of half price. So that is really awesome. You can just use the code COOKWITHFLEUR. And the subscription is super flexible as well. So if you are going on holiday for a week or if you are out every night, you can skip a week or you can cancel at any time or you can pause your subscription. So it's really flexible um, and I would definitely recommend. Right, we're gonna eat now because it's actually quite late. Happy in your super sexy tank top? So sexy right now. <laughs> I'm very happy. My favourite part about HelloFresh is the fact is it makes you choose foods that you wouldn't normally eat that I like as well, which is like cool. rice. Mm, it's great. made me like rice. <laughs> Upstairs, getting ready for bed now, and I just came up and I've forgotten how much of a mess I had left after I stopped filming today because I was just so hot. I feel like today's been one of those days where I've just been running around in circles. But I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna sort it in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye guys.